Hey, this is Jules from Hatchet, and you're watching Pure Grain Audio's Torpedo. We did a few shows with Havoc a couple years ago, up, up and down the West Coast on their own natural selection tour, and we played at this venue in Bakersfield called Jerry's Pizza. It was basically a very musky pizza place that had a, a really weird downstairs, uh, much like this at, at St. Vitus, but this is where the show was hosted. Loading in, we saw I think, a bunch of dead cockroaches up and down the stairs. We were un unloading the little backstage area that they had set up for us. Had like a, it was like this wooden room that had leaks all over the place, so we had to like move our gear around so it wouldn't like find the dry spots where it wouldn't leak. And then we like tried to close the door to have some privacy, which like looks hot onto the stage. Maybe like the stage is like 20 feet from the door. Uh, well, I'm more like 30 from the door to the stage, and we close it. And there's just like a big like hole that someone probably punched through the door. And it was really, really a hot venue too. Not not a stage, and the, and the stage had a bunch of like holes in front of it. It, it, it was just a really, it's not not a good place. We always speak of Jerry's. We played this uh, this venue. It was actually in uh, on the East Coast. I'm not going to name exactly where, but um, so we pull up to this venue, and it's like really crazy. There's cars zipping by everywhere. Before I even like get into the venue to load in, you know, in this you know maze of like a big city, people going everywhere. This guy comes up with me and goes, "Hey, man!" I'm shakes my hand and starts talking my ear off. And then he has a friend like right there and just like instantly like snaps a picture with us without even asking. And, like we're like. We look really odd in the picture. It's been posted a lot of places, and it was just like one of those things that caught us off guard. And then he uh, instantly asked me if he could jump on stage and play a song with me. And I was like, "Hey, man, uh, I'm trying to load in here to to the venue. I don't, uh, I don't really know you, but uh, you know, thanks for your enthusiasm. We'll chat soon." And he was just a really strange dude. Throughout the night, he he was just like talking to our merch person and just like grabbing all our shirts and like, touching them kind of caressing them, kind of weird. Later on, I, I he saw me like uh, warming up on my on my guitar, and I, I can't prove this at all, but to, I, I know that like, before I went on stage, I had my guitar case in a certain area of the venue, it's a small venue. We didn't really have a backstage area. Um, and uh, when I came back, a tuner was missing from my guitar. Nothing like that's ever happened before, and that person split before the end of our set totally a story that I tell people in my band, but I'm thoroughly convinced this person took my tune. Um, if you're talking in terms of like no crowd at all, we played uh, a show in uh, Salt Lake a couple years back that was literally the other bands, and one person came in to watch our band and left, and that was also a really terrible thing. Um, in terms of like crowd, I, you know, I can't really pinpoint it to, to one specific one, but there there are those crowds where like, uh, you know, we'll, we'll play a show and if people seem really into it, they cheer a lot, but they just like stand there and stare. They don't move, they don't, you know, we play metal, they don't headbang or anything. And afterwards, people will come up and tell us like it was great, they'll buy a lot of merch, they're into it, they want to take pictures with us, but they just like stood there. No matter what we did to try and get them engaged, they would just stand there. And it's the weirdest thing. Can't really pinpoint it to one specific place, but that's happened a few times. And it's just really weird. Thing. After a tour, just just musky, uh, you know, spilled beer, spilled coffee, shoes, um, socks. You know, that's usually by the end. But we actually, when we're on the road, we, we make it a point to kind of clean it out every couple days so that it stays somewhat fresh. Uh, Febreze is definitely a friend of the touring musician, so we make good use of that in a little Febreze clips. Um, but yeah, pretty much the smell is anything, anything you wouldn't want to smell. 